Do not attempt to close this browser. We are controlling the stream. We control the video. We control the audio. You are about to participate in a new online adventure. Please stand by. What's up, everybody? So, been a while since I've streamed any. Basically, I just need to quickly say, like, what all has happened and stuff, and, well, just multiple things compounded onto each other that just prevented streaming, basically. So, first week was the whole Google Developer Conference thing, which I've always watched live every single year, you know, for, like, the past, like, I don't know how many years, so... I just didn't stream because I was watching that, you know. The next week, freaking PC decides, hey, let's no longer work. So, yeah, I had to reinstall everything and just, uh, it was a pain in the ass. And then this week, I overslept both days. So, yeah, just nothing worked out the way I wanted to. So, yeah, I basically haven't streamed for three weeks. So, I figured, you know, well... We're going to begin back to stream the streaming here today, even though it's a Friday. And I figured, what's the best way to, you know, get back into streaming? Well, why not try something new? So, for today, I loaded up an emulator, and I'm going to be playing some of the some Pokemon Sun. So, obviously, I don't know how well this is going to work, considering the first time I played an emulated game on stream, and, I mean, this is a newer game, so, I mean, I'm not sure if the emulation is going to work at, like, the best. But, like, from what I've seen, like, it actually does, like, people have said it plays pretty decently in the emulator, so, you know, who knows. This is the first Pokemon game I will have played in, like, I don't even know how long, because the last one I played was Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, the original Yellow on the Game Boy. Not even Game Boy Color. So, yeah, um, it's been quite a while. So, yeah, let's go ahead and just get right into this. But, yeah, I'm trying a whole bunch of new stuff with the stream today because of the fact that it's been a while. So, not just the emulation, but also, um, uh, how wore this? Uh, the quality and stuff, so... I actually have it lower than 720p for once, but from what I've heard, obviously I can't see it and vouch for it, you know, but like, from what I've heard, you can actually get pretty decent, like, you know, quality, you know, that looks close to 720p with way less power if you use a 620 and like adjust the, or 40 or something like that and adjust the bit rate, you know, up higher. So, yeah, hopefully, you know, it shouldn't look like complete shit, you know, like, it may not look as good as usual, but it shouldn't look like complete shit, you know, and it should still decently work. And the other thing is I'm actually CPU streaming for once, instead of hardware accelerate. Which, you know, I don't know how well it's going to work either, because, you know, usually CPU encoding doesn't work, but it doesn't seem like there's any dropping frames, you know, since I switched over to Linux from Windows, so... Could have been a Windows issue, I guess. But yeah. Anyway, uh, enough, you know, you know, blabbling on, you know. Let's go ahead and get into the game. And control is actually working. So I did actually fire this up a, b a bit earlier to see, like, what exactly, you know, like, to see if the controls worked and stuff. So I have seen the, this intro part here up to where you type in your name, but that's basically it. Hey there, good afternoon. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon, yeah. Not just weird, just 
just a random yeah at the end that doesn't really fit, but okay. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon out here in Alola either. Such mysterious creatures. You'll find them all over in the grass, in the caves, in the sky, and sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon and we depend on them heaps too. Some of us even battle with them if we call ourselves Pokemon trainers. Rockruff, can you wait until I'm done talking to play? Alright, I gotta ask some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So, which photo should I use for your trainer passport? And that's actually the other thing I didn't mention is that, um... Uh, which one should I do here? I think I'll go with this one. But yeah, the other thing is that I am essentially, um... Uh... I'm trying low latency out too, so, um, yeah. So yeah, I don't know how bad the buffering or anything is going to be, you know, but hopefully it's not, you know, super bad. Ten four, good buddy. I'll let everybody out here know you're on your way. Brandon. Yeah, that's a name that hits you like a thunderbolt out of the sky. Woo. Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. But yeah, like, this is so weird just because of the fact, like, like I said, I've only ever played Pokemon Yellow, so to go from... Like, the first generation of Pokemon to the basically the latest, you know, I mean, there's technically Ultra, Sun and Moon, but close enough, you know. To basically the latest, and it's like all 3D and shit, just feels so weird. Brandon, come help me with these boxes. And yeah, as you can probably tell, I can't really do multiple voices, so, yeah. But yeah, I will say, like, yeah, I'm basically going into this blind, like, I know a bit about, obviously, Pokemon Sun, like, obviously the meme right here. Get in the bag, Nevi. Like, yeah, I, obviously, I've seen stuff like that, and obvious, and, um, Team Skull or whatever it is. But yeah. But, like, I don't know anything else about the plot, really, you know. But then again, it's like, I'd never really pay attention to Pokemon's plot anyway, like, you know. And there's that classic theme, yeah. Three months later. Hey, I guess it's good I'm testing, you know, lower stream quality on a game that's already kind of low quality considering it's made for the DS. Cause like, yeah, you can just see the pixelation everywhere. Ah, can't you just feel that warmth? The first day spent under a Lola sun. It's so warm and bright here. But that's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Yay. Moving day. <laughs> Meow, go get Brandon for me, would you? Meow. Yeah. 
Oh my god, there's literally a Wii U on the floor. <laughs> it's like sleeping with no blanket on top of you, okay. Well, it looks like I'm not getting up. Oh, I actually have to move. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, yes, I don't know any of these controls. Yeah. Okay. Open X menu with X button. Record your progress with save. Okay, so, yeah. But yeah, so, essentially, yeah. With how this is working, the actual, like, second screen is down in the bottom right corner. Okay, yeah, I... Okay, yep, same thing. Even on a tiny globe like this one, Kanto and Alola seem awfully far apart. Okay, so we start in the Kanto region. You know, makes sense. It's a cute stuffed doll It looks like Pikachu, the mouse Pokémon. It's a Wii U! It has a gamepad with a screen! It's like, I love how it's like, this game came out obviously like, like, right around when the Switch was coming out, and like, you know, they already were like, oh yeah, the Wii U's basically dead at this point, we're waiting on the NX, you know, Switch. And it's like, yeah, they still have to point out, oh yeah, the gamepad. God, it feels weird at this angle, it's like, because, like, can I not control the camera? Because I set- I mapped the C butt stick, but I don't know. The Ditto Pillow and Polka Toy are both covered in mouse claw marks. Okay, can't go anything over there. These are moving boxes full of your belongings. Definitely liking this music, though. You were out like a light, wouldn't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. So, Brandon, are you pumped to meet some alone Pokemon? I love how it's like... Honestly, it just feels kind of weird with them calling us our actual name we put in, considering they're our mom, like... It's like, like in some cases like that, it's like... It's what probably sound better saying, so son, or... So dark or something like that. Yeah. Whatever. Of course. That's right. I want to hurry up and meet some too. We're living in the Lolo region now. The beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? That sounds kind of ominous. Was that the doorbell? That's got to be Professor Kuki. Guy? I don't know. Why don't you let him in, Brandon? I mean, yeah, it makes sense why I probably wouldn't be able to pronounce that name, considering, like... There are mounds of Masada waiting for you, dressed in your... Okay, yeah. Hello, fans, let me tell you, today we'll have famously a stringent dry whistle. Let's dig in at once. Munch, munch. Mm, it's just so... It's so dry. Hmm, I can feel my lips puckering. It's as dry as the hand of the desert. You should definitely share with one of your Pokemon that loves dry flavors. Tune in to tomorrow for more manji. Is it okay? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nope. Not that room. Looks like it's probably food, but when did Mom buy it? <sighs> um. There you go. I didn't even get to the door, it just opened by itself. Hey there, Brandon. Name's Kukai. Good to meet you, cousin. Yeah, it's like, this guy is like, I, I'm like imagining like that kind of like cool kid 90s kind of voice. You gotta be tired after that long trip all the way out here to Lola. You feeling any jet lag? We sure are a long way from Kanto out here in Lola. It's still daytime out here, yeah? It's like those freaking glasses too, like holy 
the, just like scream 90s. Professor Kuka, yes, we just arrived yesterday. Hey there, Mom. I'll just let myself in. Oh, and call me Kuka, would you? I mean, it kind of feels weird to call her Mom, considering, like, they're... Like, yeah, they're related, you know, cousins and shit, but, like... <laughs> it's, like, still not your Mom! Welcome to Alola. Oh, God, what am I, voice am I even doing now? Welcome to Alola. God, I just can't even talk. Of course, I still remember seeing you battle the Indigo Gym Leaders back in Kanto all those years ago, you know? I've been in love with Alola and Pokemon ever since, so I finally decided to come here myself. Ah, I was supposed to be visiting there and research Kanto Pokemon moves and all. I thought I knew a thing or two about battling, but those Kanto Gym Leaders proved me wrong. Hey now, Brandon. Let's get a move on to the next town over, cousin. Time for you to meet the Island Kahuna. Hey, get yourself a Pokemon, yeah? God, I hate how he says yeah on every freaking fight. Uh, Pokemon or Kahuna? I think I'm gonna say Kahuna. Sure, sure. The Kahuna is a crazy strong Pokemon trainer here on the level, cousin. They're unbeatable for folks like me and you. And the Kahuna, who lives in Iki Town, is always happy to give any kid who wants to have an adventure their first Pokemon, yeah. God, stop prefixing everything with yeah! They'll simply give my boy a Pokemon? And those Kahunas really are worth meeting. Hurry and get ready, Brandon. Your bag and hat and things are still in your the boxes in your room, I think. I can totally read. And don't you leave your copy of Adventure Rules on your desk in there, too? And didn't you? Yeah. Ooh, I bet you got a style and hat that will match mine, yeah? You checked out the moon boxes and you pulled out your bag and hat. We style it now. I just found it weird how basically all the avatars had just like gray eyes, like, like no color eyes. You look ready for anything now. Have a good time out there. I'll be sure to have everything cleaned up and put away by the time you come back with your po new Pokemon. Ooh, that's a style hat, cousin. And mouth of poos. Your mom there, she's looking forward to getting your first Pokemon, yeah? So let's get going to Iki Town. Time for you to get a real nice Pokemon from the island Kahuna, oh yeah. Oh yeah! <laughs> like, seriously, are you the Kool-Aid man now? Like, bad enough you're prefixing yeah after everything, but do you really need to go all... Oh yeah! <laughs> Brandon's house. Like, I love how it's marked as my house when, like... Obviously, I live with my mom, so, like... It's like, just feels kinda weird that they're calling it... Okay, so yeah, that key opens up this. Yeah. Does that one? Nope. Okay, those two don't do any. Now this is more like it, yeah? Welcome to Paradise, cousin. This is the Lola region. Folks here in Alola get around by living together with Pokemon and working together too. After all, you can go anywhere, yeah, as long as you got Pokemon helping you out here. This is why we gotta get you to the Kahuna. Now, <laughs> like, what the heck voice am I giving him? It's like, at first I was trying to go 90s cool, and now it's like, a mix between, like, country and gangster. First off, we're off to Iki Town. Come on, it's not that far if we cut up here. It's like, I shouldn't be giving him the gangster voice, considering I know Team Skull is coming up, or whatever his names are, but, yeah. Hey, you got people. 
Hey you, you look like you're having a good time strolling around in Alola. I'm trying to do a high-pitched kid voice, cannot do that at all. You make me want to dash around too, and I bet I can go even faster than you. Holding B will make me a B dasher. And it makes me look pretty dashing too. Okay, so... Okay, yep. And we're on round one. The power of science is amazing! A simple press of a button and you can trade Pokemon or battle with people around you. Wow, game. Really, you get meta? It feels kind of weird that you can't control the camera. Like, I don't know if I'm just doing something wrong, but it's like, I got the C-Stick map, you know, and that's supposed to be the camera stick on DS devices. So, yeah. So, Brandon, you're loving Alola already, yeah? Yeah. That's what I like to hear. The more you love Alola, the happier you'll all be. Oh yeah, look there, it looks like I'm excited a little it's trying to come to us. Professor Kuki, you gotta recommend another move for me sometime, please? Why, you already know which moves you want to use, yeah? Come find me next time your Pokemon learns a new move, and then I'll battle you. Uh, what the- nah, I honestly don't even know what voices I'm doing at this point. And there's another person. See that? If you had a Pokemon, you, you could dive into the tall grass here, yeah, to try to catch them all Pokemon. Okay, yeah. Like, the mechanics of every Pokemon game ever. Crawl in some wild grass, and you, you know, random encounters. And the trainers go up against one oh, and battle with the Pokemon they love. Come on, young goose. Yes. Yeah, why am I even saying that one out loud? How's it? You're the new kid that just learned? Let's have a Pokemon battle sometime. God, the way they talk around here is just too much, almost. Having Pokemon gives you a whole new way to communicate with other people, see? Now let's get moving. Iki Town is right over there. Looks like the stream is still holding up pretty well. No frame drops or anything. So it seems like all the changes I made actually worked. That plus removing like the capogen and stuff. And we're here. It's right here. This right here is Ziki Town. Ugh. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Mel Mele Mele Island. Excuse me. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? He's prefixing everything with yeah and see, like... Oh, what's going on over here? We're supposed to meet everybody right here, yeah? Uh, Maybe they're all back there on Mahalo Trail. That's where the ruins of our guardian de deity, Tapu Koko, are, yeah? God, stop saying yeah! So it's just like, geez, that's gonna drive me nuts. This whole plate there, I guarantee it. Brandon, do me a solid and then go find the island Kahuna. I'll right around here to make sure we don't miss each other. The island Kahuna? You can't miss him. He looks just like a Kahuna. I mean, how am I supposed to know what a Kahuna looks like? Like, Iki Town, the place where we give thanks to Pokemon. Okay, so it's up this way, by the looks of it. Or... And... There you go. Really? You want to go to the ruins? I don't know what you hope to find here. And there's Nebby in the bag. What mysterious creatures. Pokemon sometimes leap right out of the grass to help people in trouble, did you know? Kahuna Hala is the strongest Pokemon trainer in all of Melee Melee. But I guess he must be off help helping someone train right now. I don't see him anywhere. 
On sunny days like this, I just I like to just wander around following the wind, don't you? Again, me and kind of meta because we're basically just wandering around talking to people. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. The ruins of conflict. That's an interesting name. This seems kind of ominous, almost. Can't come out, we'll get in trouble if anyone sees me. Nebby, stay in the goddamn bag! <laughs> Just, uh, the meme. Um, okay, yep. Cutscene time. Nebby? Hey, Seuss. Yeah, just trying something different today. Not playing Audio Surf and instead playing some Pokemon. You know, for the first time in like ages. Maybe I'll play some later. You know. But if I do, it's gonna be kind of different because the fact that, um, I had to switch OS's because some stupid. You know, computer shit, so... Uh, I don't have YouTube support anymore. So I'm gonna have to download all the songs manually, I guess. Uh... Huh. But yeah, how does everything look and sound? Because I'm trying a whole bunch of new stuff today, so, like, lower quality... Like, it's a lower than 720p quality. Try to see if that reduces the frame drops I've been having. Uh, audio, obviously, I had to reinstall the entire OS, so it's probably, it's a different setup, technically. And then it's on low latency mode, so I don't know how bad it's causing buffering and stuff. Ah. Uh, what's wrong? Who are you? Uh, let's go, what's wrong? Uh, huh? Help? Save Nebby. Oh. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I don't even have a Pokemon yet. <laughs> Oh, poor Debbie! <laughs> There's Sparrow attacking it, but I- but I'm too afraid to go out there. My legs feel like they might give out. Like, what am I supposed to do? I don't even own a Pokémon! Uh... Oh god. Uh... Uh... Peace. This bridge is just gonna collapse, isn't it? Oh shit! God damn. I mean, they just said, hey, Pokemon sometimes jump out of the grass to save people. So, I mean, hey, looks like one just came out of the freaking air to save me. Oh, oh, thank goodness. You tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby. You know what happened the last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you were trying to save me that time, and I couldn't even help you in return. <laughs> God damn it, Nebby. What? What is that? A sparkling stone. It feels almost warm somehow. Please forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Uh, who are you? I think this stone must belong to you. Uh, yeah. You've attained the sparkling stone. 
You open up the key arms packet and put the sparkling stone away inside. Please, don't tell anyone about this, about seeing Abby. It's, it's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, didn't even tell us who they were. But, yeah. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by some wild Pokemon or something. I know it's too much for me to ask, but, uh, do you think you can see us back to town? Fine, I guess I'll escort. Hey Brandon, it looks like you missed the kahuna, yeah? But you found my assistant, oh yeah? God, oh yeah. Stop sound like the Kool-Aid man. Looks like you already met, but just in case, this is my assistant. Oh, um, yes, you can call me Lily. And Lily, this here is Brandon. He just moved to here to Alola. Take good care of him. So, you're also one of the professor's acquaintances? It's nice to meet you. The Kahuna is back! Kahuna Hala has returned! Our guardian's chosen one is back! Only one of the strongest Pokemon uses in all Alola, yeah. And everybody here just says yeah. Fucking yeah. Just yeah, everything. Like, I'm getting sick of hearing everybody just saying yeah on everything. Like, seriously? Have I missed something? Nah, but where did you off go off to, Kahuna? I thought we were meeting here. I am Kahuna of this island, after all. Whenever there is a problem on the island, it is my duty to resolve it. Sorry, Lily. What were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Koko flying about. Uh, oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala. Nebby was being attacked by Spiro on the plague bridge when this boy helped to get away. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine. And that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Woo! That's something you don't hear every day. Oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rattle fickle creature. Yet our guardian was moved to save you. Cookie, my boy, I think we was... God, I can't say it with a straight face. My boy! Boy! I think we have cause to celebrate. God, now I can... All I can think of is the freaking Zelda CDI game. My boy! It seems I shouldn't trust this brave and kind young boy with a Pokemon of his own. We'll make a fine trainer out of him. I'm glad to meet you, child. I'm Hala, the Kahuna of M M Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kuka had, me, had told me of your coming. God, I cannot read today. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Come, my Pokemon. Let's have a look at you. And time to make the starter choice. Ah, uh, who will it be? First is the grass type Pokemon Rowlet. Next is the fire type Pokemon Lid. And last is the water type Pokemon Popolo Popolio. And I cannot say the name. God, who do I pick? Which Pokemon will you choose as your partner? Oh fuck, like, god. Like, this is a tough decision because, well, on one hand, like, everybody seems to hate Popo Poplio with a burning passion for some odd reason, and I actually like them, so it's like, I kinda wanna pick them, just because no one else will, and I feel bad for them. But at the same time, like, I, you know, it's like, the other two are pretty damn good too, like, like, Rala is freaking adorable as heck, also, and just, ugh. I don't even know which one to pick. God, 
<sighs> God. Uh. Let's say. Ask my friend and see what they pick. Assuming they reply back fast enough. And they're probably not going to. <sighs> like, it's like I'm struggling to decide this. I'm just like, can't think of which one I want to freaking pick. Okay, I guess I'll go with my first instinct. <laughs> yes. It's like everybody else seems to hate them, so it's like I, I almost feel obligated just to pick them just because they, you know, beat someone, at least. <laughs> Only when you have both chosen each other can you truly call each other's partners. And of course, they respond back to me the second after I pick. So let's see if little Popolo there also decides to choose you. Oh, that's a glitch. <laughs> Popolo is gazing at you quite sweetly. What the heck is that glitch? Like, uh... Okay, clearly there's, uh, something happening because I cannot switch windows at all. Like, I legit cannot, like, my nothing is clicking. Uh... Computer? Like, l everything but the game is froze. Can't click any window, can't... Keyboard... Uh... Huh, what am I supposed to do here then?
Okay, here's where the glitch was last time. So it seems to be fine now, so... Well, yeah, I mean, I'm not saying you specifically said that, just a lot of people seem to think that, and I'm just like... You know, like... It's like, I feel the same way like you said, like, I don't hate every, you know, any really Pokemon, like, there's some weird ones, I will admit, but I mean, you know, like, I don't hate any of them. Like, but some people online just, like, strictly, like, hate them with such a burning passion, it's like, they're like, ban this Pokemon, kill them with fire and stuff, and I'm just like, Jesus, people, like, I don't think they deserve that much hate. Okay, so yeah, back to trying to do this weird voice, because, like, I'm, like, just, like, a heads up, like, I am not good at doing voices out of my own, so, but I'm trying to do the voice, and, yeah, anyway, I gave him kind of, like, a cool guy kind of voice, almost, because, like, I mean, he says, yeah, at the end of, like, every damn sentence. So, having accepted one another, you'll surely be friends for life. Would you like to give him a nickname? Uh, like, it's like, yeah, giving nicknames are good, but it's like, I don't think I can think of a damn nickname. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'll skip it for now. Okay, nice to meet you, Pablo. Well, yeah, like, exactly, like, like, for, like, the biggest example I can think of something like that is, like, Magikarp. Like, the classic, you know, Magikarp is known as being, like, a Pokemon that's completely useless, but they evolve into freaking, like, Zapdos or whatever, like, one of the, like, strongest Pokemon, like, Gen 1. So it's like, yeah, don't judge a Pokemon based on how it looks, because, you know, like, you know, a lot of them end up evolving into, like, some really strong shit. Oh, when do you get out again? I know that Kahuna, Hal, and the Professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. I think you chose a wonderful Pokemon. Please take very good care of it. But yeah, so basically, like, like I did say I'm going into this blind. Like, literally, the only thing I know about this specific Pokemon game is literally just the whole get in the bag, Nebby meme. Because, you know, Nebby just doesn't stay at the goddamn bag. That's it, Brandon. Now you got a Pokemon. You're a real Pokemon trainer, yeah? And here's the lovely gift from me to help make it special, cousin. And there's the Pokedex. A Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah? That can automatically record facts about any Pokemon that you meet. Your new partner, Popolo, is already registered, oh yeah? So check it out. God, just why does he have to say yeah to every damn thing? And this is a trainer passport that I had put together for you. Now why don't you go introduce your new friend to your mom, Brandon? Finally, I can save. Okay, we got... Pokemon here. Yeah. Okay. But yeah, like, I've never actually played a DS game either, or, or 3DS for that matter, so like, emulating this just feels different, you know? That's actually interesting, there's multiple Polkadexes for each place. That's different. Yeah. This Pokemon snorts body fluids from its nose, blowing balloons to smash it into its foes. It's famous for being a hard worker. Oh, 
Although there's a cry button, like, I don't want to make him cry. Yeah, like, I, I heard about that, like, which is definitely different, you know, like, than the older games. Like, yeah, you obviously could, like, buy food to heal and stuff, but, like, you know, like, this is, like, basically, like, almost like the Sonic Chow Garden, apparently, like, where you can actually just interact and, you know, like a mini-game kind of thing. Uh, the bag? Okay. Oh, wait. Need to... There we go, yeah. A stone entrusted by a Pokemon that has been vet... been narrated. No, okay, that's hard to say. As a guardian deity in the Loyal Agent, there is said to be some secret in how it sparkles. Okay. Trainer passport. Name, brand ID. Okay, a little uh, Pokedex, money, battle points, playtime, adventure started on. I love how it actually uses the real date. That's kind of cool. You took your first step as a Pokemon trainer. Okay, Pokemon Refresh. I don't know what this is. Okay, this is what you were talking about. Okay. Get them Poke Beans. Can get dirty when they battle. Okay. Although, it's like, I'm not even sure if I can do this without, um... Yeah, I don't even think I can do this without the touch screen, so, um... Well... Okay, my mouse works for that. That's good to know. Okay, no. But yeah, I've seen, like, cause like I said, I keep up with the franchise, just don't play it, really, so... Yeah, like, I've seen quite a few of the forms, like, the Lord Mouth is purple or whatever, and... That, uh, like, uh, what was... I can't think of the damn name. The tree Pokemon from Gen 1, whatever, is, like, way taller, like a palm, like a Hawaiian palm tree kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Yeah, let me actually see if I can adjust something here real quick. Uh... God. Actually, it looks kinda... interesting. Um, okay, my menu just disappeared. Where the... Okay, game. Um... There we go. God, my computer is just acting all kinds of weird. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I tried up, upping the resolution scale in the emulator, so maybe it should look less pixelated now. Okay. Yeah, because honestly, like, I'm just trying to tweak with everything because, like, well, well, yeah. Thank you for the follow. Um, crap. <laughs> Accidentally put the overlay under the game. GG me. But anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, essentially, so, um, like, that's what I was about to say, is, uh, I'm, like, doing a lot of different stuff with the stream today that I normally would, considering I haven't been streaming for, like, a couple weeks, and I had to reinstall my entire computer and everything. So, uh, one is, well, you know, all, reinstalling everything means, obviously, the setup is not gonna be the exact same, so the audio levels and stuff might be too loud. Uh, I decreased the stream quality from 720p to, uh, 648 or something like that, whatever. 
whatever the next level down in OBS is. Because I read online, you can actually make it look pretty decent if you increase the bitrate on a lower resolution. And it is clearly helping preventing frame drops, because I was having, like, many frame drops a stream and I got zero. Although that still didn't help the weird computer glitch, but that was the computer and not OBS. And then the last thing is, yeah, the delay. So I'm on the new low latency mode, which should have like one second delay or some stuff like that, which is ridiculous. Yeah, so anyway, uh, back to the actual game here. Uh, let me talk to people. If you two can work together in harmony with each other, you can go anywhere together. Hang on a second, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody, yeah? Okay. If you really like to get to know your new friend Popolo, you could check out all of its information in your book decks. Yeah, because I already know that. Okay. Oh boy, first battle already, right? Yep. How'd I know this was gonna happen? Hey, you and me, let's have a Pokemon battle! <laughs> what kind of laugh is that? Where's the fire, boy? Boy? Oh boy. What kind of Pokemon battle would that be where you don't even give a name first, eh? Fair enough. Then I'm Hal, and my partner is Lynn. Your Popolo looks really cool, too. Thanks? Yeah, so let's battle. I couldn't wait for you to find your way to Iggy Town, so I've been all over looking for you. Um... I don't really like to see Pokemon battles where Pokemon can get hurt, but I'll watch for you. Oh yeah, your first battle already? Just have your Pokemon dish out some moves and see who wins, whoop. I appreciate you be you you Billy being ugh, being willing to take on my grandson here. I expect a no holds barred battle from the both of you. Yeah, I've actually not seen the newest anime with like Sun and Moon or anything yet. Like, uh, what was the last Pokemon anime I watched? Cause like the last game was Yellow, but the last anime I think was uh, was it Diamond and Pearl? Uh, I actually gotta look it up, because I cannot think. Um. Because I, I definitely have seen the original series, so... With the... In the early Genjaro journeys of Master Quest and all that stuff. Um, Advanced Generation, yeah, I've seen all those. Okay, yeah, so I think the last one was Diamond Pool. I think it might have been the original season, not Battle Dimension, Galactic Battles, or Sinnoh League. They drew the last, like, three of that generation, but yeah. I definitely remember seeing the first generation, of well, the first season of Diamond Pearl. Yeah. So I've not seen the Best Wishes, Black and White, or the whatever, or the XY and Sun and Moon ones. And then the last movie was probably, um... Let's see here. Uh, Ranger in the Temple of the Sea, I think? Yeah. Okay, well that was a bit of a sidetrack, but yeah. That idle animation, though. You will battle me, right? I know you will, right? Like, I almost feel kind of cocky saying, and I won't lose, but I mean, it's the only option that it does about. Alright, this is going to be great. Very well then, let the Pokemon battle begin. Yeah, I've seen the style, but I've not actually seen any actual episodes or anything, but like, yeah, it's definitely different in style. You are challenged by Pokemon Trail of Hell. I love this music. I mean, yeah, it's definitely still a pretty similar battle style as, you know, the last series, just, you know. 
I mean, it's a other Pokemon game. It's just, yeah, in 3D and stuff now. Which kind of reminds me of Pokemon Stadium, actually, on the 64. Because that I actually did play. I forgot about that. But, like, last mainland game, I guess I should say, is... You know, it was yellow. It's super effective. Well, no duh, it's a water type against a fire type. The posing Linden feigned. In 65 experience points. Level 6? I'm definitely liking this OST already, god damn. Music's really good. Hundred Pokebucks. What kind of saying is that? That gave me chicken skin? Huh? Like, really? Huh? Well, yeah, I mean, that's kind... yeah. Yeah, like, I, I figured that out pretty quickly, that that's how it works. Like, you know, because it's like, it makes sense, like, it's a tutorial kind of battle. So it's like, hey, let's just give you the opposite type so you don't have to think about, you know, which one to choose to better win. Brandon, right? Your Pablo was awesome. Now it settles it, I'm going all out tomorrow. I actually find it kind of... whoa. That's... interesting. I find it kind of funny, like, how it's like, it started me off with a level 5 Pokémon? Like, it seems kind of weird that they would start you off on level 5 instead of just a level 1. But, okay. Hmm, Brandon? Would you be so kind as to give me a look at that sparkling stone you have there? Well, that just got suddenly quiet. Could it be? Tutu, isn't that... You were rescued by Tapo, Tapu Coco at the bridge. Isn't that what I heard, Brandon? Okay, so it even d denied you to give you a stone. Perhaps you are here in a little Brandon, because this is where you are meant to be. Okay. Allow me to borrow the stone for now. Fred not, I'll return to you tomorrow evening. It seems that you have the makings of a fine trainer. You must do us the honor of joining our festival tomorrow. First, I'll make sure you get back home safe today, though, Brandon. Lily, you two should come with us, too, yeah? One one you to go losing you twice in one day, you or that precious Pokemon of yours. Yes, I'll keep an eye on. God damn it, Nebby! Oh, you? Would you not try to escape the very moment that you were told not to wander off? Oh, that pout face. God damn it. The Baka. God damn it, Nebby. Just always. Welcome back, Brandon. So, what kind of Pokemon did you get? Don't keep me waiting. <laughs> yeah. Get in the bag, Nebby! Get in the goddamn bag! I find this kind of hilarious now that I think about because, like, the mom has a meowth, why I got a dog. Like, cat and a dog. I mean, it's a sea dog, but I mean, it's still technically kind of like a dog, because it barks. Oh, I think I've fallen in love! So, why did you choose this, sweetheart? <laughs> because it's cute. Because it's cool. Cute. I mean, pretty much. Well then, you picked right, because I'd say this little charmer is definitely cute and cool. The two of you look great together. I feel happier just looking at the pair of you. <laughs> I 
Okay. The next day. What a stunning sunset. Alright, today is the day that I finally unpack. Was that the doorbell? Go see who that is, Brandon. Yeah, I mean, ghosts are pretty cool. Yeah, actually, I was mean to ask earlier, like, your name, it has UT fan in it. Let me guess, that stands for Undertale fan? Or is it some other type of UT? God, I can't even get to the door and they already barge in. <laughs> hey there, Brandon. It's about time we set out for the festival, yeah? But first, now that you're a real Pokemon trainer with your own Pokemon all, I gotta show you something. Come with me out to Route 1. Now, why am I giving him such a freaking, like, gangster voice almost? Have fun, oh wait. Have fun at the festival, sweetie. I'm sure you'll have a good time with your new Pokemon pal. Me and Meowth will be sure to s unpack every last box seal, you'll see. But yeah, I, I figured that because, like, I played Undertale, like, a long while back. So, like, pretty much when it first came out, and yeah. Like, it's a damn good game, but I mean, everybody, you know, does kind of, you know, hate it sometimes because of the fact, you know, it's like the fan base. But I mean, hey, I don't, I don't judge games based on the fan base like some people do. Like, it's like, yeah, sometimes the fan base might be shit, but that shouldn't, you know, take away your ability to like the game or a TV show or anything for that matter. Ten, you're a Pokemon and use your agility. But yeah. Yeah, I mean, like seriously, it's like almost every game. Um, actually, for a second, I think I'm gonna go refill my drink, so I'll, uh, save here, and I'll be right back. Okay, um, overlay, reloading. Okay, so yeah, we're back. But yeah, if like, mouth was getting pretty dry, I just had to go get a drink, especially because talking during, you know, games. <laughs> okay. And there's some tall grass. I know what's coming. So you know that wild Pokemon will sometimes jump out at you with tall grass, yeah. Now that you got Popolo there, you can not only fight wild Pokemon, yeah, you can also try to catch them too. Catch them. Woo! God. I'm gonna show you how to catch wild Pokemon, alright? Keep your eyes on the prize. God, it's so 90s talk. Pick a peck. Yeah. Um, okay, that's not what I clicked, but, um, fine. Uh, okay. Oh, it's, oh, it's auto-doing it. Okay, I get it now. I was like, I'm clicking the button, and it didn't go exactly where I wanted it to, but, you know, yeah, that makes more sense. It's just auto showing me how to do it. Oh, yeah! Wild Pokemon do sometimes attack people if they get close, but catch them and they'll join your team and be a great help to you, yeah? God, I seriously, I hate how he just puts yeah after everything, or... Oh yeah! Like, sounds like the damn Kool-Aid man. 
But if your Pokemon get all tuckered out by fighting for you, just head home for a bit. If you ask your mom, I'm sure she'll let you in. Your whole team rest up at home. A boy could use some potions. Here's some Pokeballs and potions to get you started out. I, mean, I guess it makes sense why, you know, him basically being a native of this place would talk like that, considering there's also the Team Skull or whatever. You open up the items pocket and put the Pokeballs away inside, you attain five potions, okay, yeah. Why don't you have a little adventure of your own on the way to Iki Town, yeah? Yep, there we go. Uh, let's go with this one, maybe. Okay, that was a bit too much. Okay, yep, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> like, I figured I had to kill him, like, hit him more, not kill him. Freaking didn't want to kill him. Figured I had to hit him more to get him weakened enough to get a Pokeball, but yeah, like, that was a bit too much. Ooh, Caterpie. Well, I definitely know that one. Okay, take two. God damn. Okay, maybe it's enough? Up, oh, wait, nope. Don't want potion. Maybe? Yes! Level 7. Like, I mean, honestly, I think Carapir is probably the first Pokemon I caught in yellow, too. Now that I think about it. <laughs> Feels like that's kind of ironic. When attacked by bird Pokemon, it resists by releasing a terrifically strong odor from its antenna that often becomes their prey. Yeah, also, I'm just not gonna borrow giving nicknames, I don't think, because, like, I just, you know, like, I can never think of names, to be honest, so it's like, yeah, just, I would waste too much time trying to think of one. Jeez, that audio was like... That's interesting. Just a random item. Oh god, now I gotta do a battle. But train a trainer. A new challenger approaches. Youngster Jimmy.
Uh, let's uh, try to do that again. There we go. I lost, but that was still exciting. Got that facial expression, just like, oh no. God, I can hear the audio just like, it seems like it's lagging a bit. It's like, well, I gotta love emulation. Oh god. Seriously, another one right away? Lass Audrey. That's a name. <laughs> Caterpie vs. Caterpie. That, you know, would work, I guess. But I mean, I I'm going Puffalo instead, because that would make way more sense. Effective. I actually like that. It shows you which ones are would be the best effective, you know, instead of just immediately. Holy crap, that was good. Instead of just making you try to guess, like, kind of used to, like, because you would have to know all the abilities and everything, now it's just like, oh yeah, this will work. Yeah. Gotta love Harden. Like, who is just leaving all these Pokeballs and potions out? Um, okay, how do I get over to that? There you go. Okay, yeah, so there's a sign there. Pokemon can gain ex EXP points for battling over Pokemon. EXP helps you grow stronger when your Pokemon get EXP. Okay, yeah. I mean, basically common knowledge there. Uh, let's see, where am I going here? This way? Okay, no. Okay, oh wait, maybe it is that way. Yeah. Up. Okay, nope, not that way. God damn! Seriously, am I just gonna hit every single person? Preschooler, really? A battle the damn preschooler? They just allow anybody to become a Pokemon trainer, don't they? Okay, so there's a young goose. Uh, let's go ahead and do the water, I guess. That seems to be the best one, usually, for all the Pokemon that big coming up. Yeah, that's really good. Ooh, starting to get low on health, but, you know, I think I can get this. Yep. If you're strong, please go away. Jeez, whiny preschooler. Yeah, that face, the way it was like, uh, like, yeah. The Alolo region is made up of our four islands, and each island has its own guardian Pokémon. Our festival today is held to express our thanks to those great Pokémon guardian deities. 
we're always remaining by our sides. Well, we may call it a festival, but it's just this little thing you see here. There may not be many of us, but at least every last one of us here goes all out. Okay, yeah. Okay. Covered in mud just like his Pokemon. Yeah. The rub is against you with the stones on its neck, but it does kind of hurt. I mean, <laughs> yeah, that would make sense. But it's like, yeah, it's a dog. It rubs against people when it likes them, but it's like, yeah. I love how I bend down, you know, to, when people are smaller. Or Pokemon. Am I gonna have to fight him again? How's it? What? God, what is, what is the dialogue in this game sometimes? Man, I thought you'd never make it. Me and Lynn have been waiting for ages. Hold on, didn't anyone explain to you about tonight? Yeah, it's about. Oh yeah, right on time. But to what exactly? Hello, Wolfpack3602. <laughs> Full power festival for Pokemon battling. We battle in the name of Tapu Koko, pitting our best moves against one another in, a, in friendly competition to please our guardian. So basically, we're fighting to please the gods, pretty much. Okay. But yeah, I know it's Hawaii, like, is what it's based on, but I don't really know what a beach accent would be, really, like. But yeah, thanks for the follow. But yeah, it's a wolf of war. Okay. I figured this much, but yeah. So, you two will be taking part in the battle. I don't like seeing Pokemon fight one another, since they so often end up getting hurt. But it seems like this is an important event, so I'll be sure to watch you both. The Pokemon have fought for you, so show them the same care in return, Brandon. Allow me to heal them for you this time. Okay, so I got a free heal. Okay. Are you ready for this Pokemon battle? Yes. Then let's begin! We're all life on our islands. And for those who undertake the island challenge with joy in their hearts. We pray for your protection, for them and all of Mele Mele. May this Pokemon battle be an offering to our island's guardian deity, Tapu Koko. Before you stands who? Grants on to the Kahuna. Before him stands Brandon, one who has met with Tapu Koko. What? What a curious little thing Tapu Koko is. Ha, huh, that's just typical of it. Pablo, take care of my little Brandon. Oh god. As long as we both have a good time, I think we can call it a great battle, eh? Brandon, how? Oh, bring forth the power of your Pokemon. Yeah. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer. How? What Pichu? That's a pretty good one. God damn, I love Pichu. It's so adorable. Uh, let's actually. Now I think about water might not be the best because it's electric. But okay, whatever. I already collect. Okay, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but let's go pound this time, I think. 
Hell Whip. God damn it. Aw, oh, crap, I'm paralyzed. Uh, what one do I do? Let's do the water, I guess, again. God damn it. Oh, it worked anyway. Level 8? Okay. It was a shocking surprise. God. The pods are real. Learn disarming voice. Uh, I'll keep battling. Okay, so that's a fairy type move. But yeah, so obviously I'll keep Pablo for a lid, considering it's a freaking water, you know, type. Sure. Uh, do I want to heal? I think I can make it. Uh, it's okay, it was close. There we go. A critical hit. 81 damn points. Holy crap. Okay, uh, got the care thing. It's already over. Yeah. 140. Okay. I know a great battle this year. I bet Tapu Koko liked it too. Phew, that was awesome, Brandon. That was a really great battle. I had a blast fighting you. Yeah, that's what I figured, but yeah. It was a good battle. With this, even Tapu Koko. Ko Ko Ku okay, yeah. Ah, you heard yourself, Tapu Koko saw of approval. Oh I nearly forgot, I think it's time you take this, Brandon. Okay, so now I got a Zane Ring. So, yeah, okay, so that is something else I've heard about, like, these newer Pokemon games over the original, because since you weren't here earlier, you missed me mentioning it, but I've not played a single Pokemon game since Pokemon Yellow. So it's like, yeah, this is like a massive jump forward, you know, 3D and all that stuff, and, you know, all that. But yeah, the other thing I heard is there's, like, Z Evolution, something like that now. I don't know. I'll have to check that, I guess. Your z ring a mysterious armband that can draw out the power that lies deep within Pokémon. It can bring forth their Z-power. Yeah, okay, yeah, I probably missed- I missed was thinking it, whatever, but... I think I was thinking Mega Evolution or something like that. Z-power and Mega Evolution, something like that. I think I just mixed the two terms. We Kahunas can make them re by refining stones like the sparkling stone that you received from Tapu Koko. Although, until you collect more Z-Crystals during your island challenge, you will not be able to draw out the Z-Power of your Pokémon. And yet, you have already received that sparkling stone. It seems that Tapu Koko took quite a liking to you, or perhaps it has a mission for you. In other words, it's time for you to get out there and start your island challenge. If you visit every island, maybe you'll figure out what that mission is. Four Islands. You'll travel to each of the four islands here in the Lolo region. The Island Challenge is about Amy to be the strongest trainer. The Island Challenge Champion. Woo! Sounds great, right? I can't wait to have a real adventure. God. That pun. It's just... It's just no, please. 
I'll explain about the island challenge later. I mean, hey, there's no harm in, you know, being random and making jokes. It's just, yeah, some of them are kind of bad. Excuse me. Tapu Coco is amazing, isn't it? Hope I can meet it again someday and thank it for saving Nebby. Me too. It saved you as well, didn't it? And left you with that sparkling stone. Even though you are a stranger to this place. Well, yeah, I gotta wait till the dialogue's finished and all that shit, so yeah. Suppose it's time we'll get you kids home, yeah? Then I suppose this is goodbye. It's like it's like I wait for all this damn dialogue. Honey, I'm home. Oh Brandon, you're back already? I thought you'd want to stay in Nikki Town longer. I love how they call the mouth honey. Really? Like, what, are you like, like, what, is the mouth your husband or something? Like, uh, you deal? I don't know what you're talking about. Especially right after that great hell. Ooh, I was just captivated to see my old boy find such perfect sync for this Pokemon. Maybe it would be a good idea for you to try the island challenge thing. It's something you can only do in a little, right? Right now, I've got a day with my bed. I've danced my feet off of that festival. That night, sweetie. Go get some sleep, too. But yeah, you mean the free strong Pokemon thing at the festival plaza, I guess you're saying? I'll think about it. I guess, I mean, unless it's too late, whatever, but yeah. What beautiful weather. I wonder what today will bring me. A visitor? If it's Kooky, he'll probably let himself in without even waiting for us to open the door. He does every damn time. Okay, so save. And check Pokemon, I guess, here. Summary. Uh, let's see, where would we see it here? Uh... Okay, I see it now. There's the little bo blue boy arrow, arrow. So it's a boy. And the canopy is a girl. I mean, uh, you know, I think, you know what, this being my first time playing this, I'll just play it normally. I mean, thanks for the offer, but I'll just, I kind of just want to play it like how, you know, just how you would normally without, you know, getting anything from anybody special or anything. Okay, he didn't actually barge in for one, so it must not be him. Oh, it's Lily. Oh, um... The professor said... Hey there, Lily, bring me that great new trainer, Boop. So I'm here to show you the way to his Pokemon lab if you come with me. It's, um... This, it's this way. Here, a little pocket money for you. Don't go wasting it on anything too silly. Oh, well done, Brandon. You're already making friends, aren't you? And what a cute little friend you found. I knew a little would be a great place for us. We'll just keep meet meeting wonderful people here. Uh, me? Well, thank you. Yeah, it's like you just called some random girl cute, like... <laughs> 
like, that's kind of embarrassing. Thanks, Mom. My name is Lily. It's very nice to meet you. Although I'm basically just giving all the girls the same voice and basically all the guys the same voice. Well, yeah, it's like, I understand, you know, it's like, those things would probably be hard catches, obviously, but it's like, you know, like, with this being my first Pokemon game in a long damn time, and just, you know, like, being my first time playing it at all, like, I kind of just want to go, like, as vanilla as possible, I guess, you know, just playing it, you know, like, at, you know, without any, you know, like, you know, people giving me stuff and, you know, all that, you know. So I really get the actual experience. You know, even if it takes longer and requires more grinding or something. Looks like it's finally your time to shine, sweetie. Enjoy yourself out there, Apopolo. And don't be gone for too long. You, you have a very nice mother, don't you? Yeah, like... We should get going. I'll show you to the Pokemon Research Lab. This is cute. Like, is it this way? Yeah. We can only reach the professor's lab by tr treading through the tall grass here. He says he can research moves better when he's so surrounded by Pokemon. Okay, yeah, so time to get, you know, random encounters up the wazoo, basically. Since I'm not a trainer, though, I usually have to rely on using repels all the time. You do know that repels keep Pokemon from attacking, right? And, and about Nebby. Oh, I mean, Cosmog. Cosmog seems to be a very rare Pokemon. It came from far, far away. It seems to have a very strange power. It used that power to save me once when I was in danger. But some some other people want Cosmog for themselves to use that power. That's why only the Professor and Kahuna Hala and other people I can trust know about it. Can you keep a secret? Can you not tell anyone else about Nebby or what happened on that bridge, please? Yeah. I keep the secret, don't worry. Oh god damn it. I'm gonna run in across somebody here. It's like no matter what, it's like Oh god. Poor Debbie. It's like seriously, no matter what, it's like I was gonna run into something there. It's like I was gonna run through the grass and hit a random encounter or I was gonna have to fight a trainer. Let's try this disarming voice. God damn. Uh, do I want to do another one or do I want to try to catch it? Uh, let's do another move. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I didn't know if it would be too much. So now I can try catching it. And there we go, third Pokemon caught. With its sharp aims, it will bite anything. But it did not originally live in a lower, but it was important from another region. Go again. Slow pokes. Oh my god. God damn slow poke. 
Uh, let's just do a normal pound, I guess. Well, that wasn't very effective. Try disarming voice again, maybe. Okay, that one definitely worked way better. God damn it, I'm asleep now. Uh, can't remember. Okay, let me go ahead and try the Pokeball and see if it works on this. Probably isn't gonna work, but... Okay, it worked! Now I got a Slowpoke! But yeah, we would've seen in like two seconds anyway, considering... Yeah. We registered and all that stuff. Its long tail often breaks off. It doesn't really feel any pain, though, and the tail goes back, and slow- So Slowpoke isn't particularly bothered. Yeah, Slowpoke just doesn't give a fuck about anything. It's just like, yeah. God damn it. No matter what, I'm always gonna be walking in front of somebody. Last Madison. A Wingle. That's an interesting one. Hell uh, yeah, I probably should heal first. We go ahead and heal. Um. Wait, is that where I go? Yeah, I think that's where I go. Okay, restore. Okay, yep, that worked. God, I'm still freaking asleep. God, wake up, Pablo! God, this is not working. Uh, should I switch out Pokemon, maybe? I don't know. It's like I'm clearly not getting anywhere with me being freaking asleep. All I can do is hopefully it wakes up goddamn soon. Oh, finally! Oh, holy crap, that was effective. Goddamn. Yeah, like you're using a freaking water move on a water Pokemon, like, that's of course not very effective for getting Winkle. <laughs> oh, that face. Oh, you're kind of strong, on you? Uh, it's just like, you're just like, oh, really? I got beaten?
Um, here we go. What the fuck is going on in there? Oh yeah, Rock, well, let's go. Give it everything you got. My body is ready. <laughs> okay, hold on a sec. That did not sound right at one bit. Oh my god, that just... I'm- I'm dead. I'm legit dead. It's like, seriously, it's like, you hear, like, beaten up sounds and then you just hear, my body is ready. It's like... Okay, I'm just... Hold on, it's like, gotta... Got the perfect emo for this. Yeah, it just- that does not sound like a good thing. Ah, uh, there they go again. Oh god, it happened before? Has its own unique charm? Yeah, I think that's very unique. God. Imposing on the professor here? Uh, yeah. I'm not much of a citizen, but it's the least I can do to pay him back for letting me stay. <laughs> well, that must, uh, feel good, I guess? <laughs> uh, I'm legit dying over here. Yeah, some very special moves. Very special. You know what? Okay, I, I just need to play this real quick. Oh my, how lewd. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. <laughs> um, okay, did suddenly my controller. Oh, freaking controller came unplugged? God damn it. Okay, I think that's where it was. Just washed it and got it clean too. Now I'll be in shreds. I'm no good at mending clothes, so I'll just have to buy a new one. We should probably go in before he does any more damage. God damn. Ugh, just no. I mean, I can, you know, I can 100% guarantee that somebody has drawn that online. It also doesn't help he's shirtless, basically, so... Like, it looks like he didn't have time to throw a shirt on... ...before people came in. God. Hey there, Brandon. Thanks for getting him to me, Lily. Of course, how can I be a help? I'm supposed to be your assistant, right? That girl smooths, which is so stylish, and I was making good progress with my research. Stalin? Really? But yeah, some very special research, but research. Say, Brandon, let me see your Pokedex for a second, yeah? So, what do you think of the place? Not bad, right? I mean... You know, maybe if I didn't know what was going on here, maybe. But that's not what I called you here, eh? Here, it finally arrived. It? What's wrong, Lily? Don't make me do it all the talking. See, there's this Pokemon inside your Pokedex called Roto... Rotom? Oh, I can tell you about Rotom. 
It's a peculiar Pokémon with a body made up of something like electricity. It can take residence in machines. Yeah, buddy, and to put all that crazy skilled rooms to work, it's the next gen of Pokédex that the only complete one's problem has gone into this body specifically developed for it. A whole new way for Pokémon to communicate. We've... There's only a few of these movies out in the world so far. Okay, so basically they're making fusions, f fusing Pokémon with a with a Pokédex. That almost sounds cruel. And now, power up your Pokédex with the parts that I just got in. Hey, now, sorry about that, Rotom. I guess I'll surprise you. Rotom? Here, boy! I powered up your favorite decks! Get Miranda here a helping hand, yeah? Yeah, no. I've, I've not seen, like, and I've not even seen this Pokemon at all as it's part of the thing. Did that thing just go in my pants? <laughs> okay, yeah. Shouldn't have said that probably, but. <laughs> God, this game is just damn lewd. See, Brandon? Now Rotom can talk right to you. From what I can tell, it looks like Rotom has taken a liking to you. A liking, eh? And this will help how exactly? Brandon hasn't been here in Aloha too long yet, so I decided to give him the special Rotom decks to help him navigate around. You can see where you're hit just by looking at Rotom, and if you like, if you give it a little tap, you can even check out the town map. Yeah. Oh god, here he is again. Alula! The salty breeze sang to me and brought me here to you. Whoa, ho, ho! Ho, ho? What are you, Santa now? Is that a loft? That's awesome! No, it's not. It's private. The professor has been kind enough to let me use it. Oh god! <laughs> so, is it private loft and you used it with the professor? <laughs> god, the professor sure gets around, doesn't he? <laughs> it's like, first your damn Pokemon and now you're doing a little girl? If you see a Pulsin or Pokemon who needs help, you just help them! Right, Brand? <laughs> God. I'm just dying too much. Just get, like, the dialogue is just so innuendo. That's why I'm letting Lily stay up there locked. Oh, God. So, Brandon, I'm letting this Rotom Dex in your hands. Rotom, you look after Brandon, yeah? So that's the Rotom Dex, eh? It's kinda cute. Alright, there's some important things you need to know about the Island Challenge. The Island Challenge is your chance to become the strongest trainer around. The Island Challenge Champion, woo! It's a great adventure for you and your Pokémon to go on together. There are four main islands that make up Alola, and a Kahuna for each of them. If you wish to be recognized by the Kahuna as a Warly... Excuse me. It said you must clear seven trials. Brandon, I want you and Pablo to go get out there and give it a shot. You were able to fully use your Pokemon's moves in your very first battle. I think you must have a talent for drawing out Pokemon's strengths, yeah? Then yeah, I'll do it, I guess. Anything to give me away from you! I don't want to be bad touched! Oh yeah, somebody who's dedicated my life to stuck in Pokemon moves. I really want to see you out there meeting all kinds of Pokemon on your island challenge. Yeah, studying all kinds of moves. Might one of them be a 69? Or maybe missionary? Here, everybody on the island challenge, it's one of these island challenge amulets. I got one for my gramps too. 
A lot then, Brandon, you too, huh? Get a move on! Okay. To the trainer school. You gotta learn the basics of being a Pokemon trainer for Pokemon battle. It's a long road to become an Isle Challenge champion, and trainer school is the first step. Please don't betray me, moves! What about you, Hal? I'm good. I just wanna play with my Pokemon. I mean, train with them, right? Seriously? Play with my Pokemon? Oh, God. The Island Challenge. So this is how people of Alola connect with the world around them. Lily, you take care of Brandon, yeah? Okay, of course, we're gonna have a girl come on our journey, like every damn Pokemon game thing. Until he gets used to roam, help him find his way around. It's like, I know it's Japan and they may do some loot stuff, but it's like, god damn. We need some help. Give me a little poke in the middle of my map. But yeah, so yeah, that makes more sense now. Like, I was like wondering why the screen is like blank 99% of the time, but it's because you had to get this first. Okay, yeah. Um, I already gave it a poke. I guess I just can't do anything yet. Okay. Can I go up here? Oh my god, I can. Well, I mean, there's not much room to do anything up here, I mean, but, okay. Is that a diary? Yeah, that's a diary. Yeah, I must be documenting, documenting all the things. Yeah, I figured you probably could. Wait, what did I say? Well loved looking? Oh god, is it like a body pillow? I'm- I'm done. I'm done. I'm so done. Laying on a girl's bed. Oh god. Seriously, this whole game is just like- It's like, I know it's not probably intended, but god damn. Okay, can't do anything there. That's an horrible sounding. Yeah. Love disc and course of the coral Pokemon, okay. Wait, can I go downstairs? I can. Pokemon moves can be divided into three of our categories. Physical, special, of course, status moves. Physical moves. Moves that attack and opponent dealing damage. Okay. Moves that attack deal damage on special attack stats. Moves that have effects other than directly attacking. As of this right, it's called Spill to identify more than 600 distinct moves that can be used with Pokemon about. Each Pokemon is only a member of a maximum of four moves at a time. To learn a fifth move, it must forget one of the arrow moves it knows. Additionally, it must be noted that there are also many different ways through which a Pokemon are able to learn moves. There's still much to learn about the relationship. Yeah. God. Advanced books, mangas, or wink wink. <laughs> Seriously though, this whole thing is just like, uh, like... It's like, I know they're not trying, but it's just, it sounds so damn bad. Pokemon are totally necessary partners. I'm gonna leave that there. <laughs> Plus, we all live together here. I guess I have to call them family. But god, that makes it even worse! It's incest, then! I'm literally face popping so damn hard right now. It's like, it's bad enough as is that you're doing things with them, but it's like, 
It, the family? Really? Okay. Go ahead and save, because then I won't have to redo that again. Okay, so I need to go up here, so that means I need to go back through here. Yep. And there's a slowpoke, so hopefully I can recapture it again. God, I'm gonna fall asleep again, aren't I? And I'm asleep. Well, hopefully I can catch them without, without having to be in the wake here. Oh wait, there's a thing called awakening. Well, good thing I know for that now. But yeah, I can think I can catch him without waking myself up. <laughs> Freaking whip. Okay, let me try using that awakening thing, I guess. Um, wait. Bag. Please don't kill them. Ah, oh, there we go. Time to catch him again. And... Good. So now I'm fully back to where I was before. And level 10. Now with me being able to use basically Poplo for everything, like I... I love how the other ones just aren't even getting used because it's like Poplo's beating everything. Congrats! You register a Pokemon in your Pokedex is a red letter day, and I'm about as red as anything. It's long tail often breaks off. It doesn't really feel like pain though, and the tail goes back, so slow pokemon is yeah, I already read it. Why am I reading it again? Yeah, I, I've seen their evolution in the ads. God damn it. But yeah, it's, it's definitely, you know, like, very feminine looking. And I'm just gonna run from this one. Because I knew I was gonna have to battle them anyway. Kneecaps? Really? You called me kneecaps? <laughs> Rublin... Seven? What? That's definitely an interesting one.
Yeah, grubbin. Oh, brought to my knees. Yeah, you called me kneecaps, and now you're brought to your knees. A uh, brown button. Am I going in here first, I guess? Oh, look at that amulet you have there. Is that for the island challenge? Do your best to become an island challenge champ. I'll be behind you all the way. Have you been having a good time? You look a bit tired, but happy. Take a little break before you head out there again, sweetie. Yeah. That was a fast break. That's a pretty short looking bed. Like, how do you even lay on that thing correctly? <laughs> I love how I'm just in my mom's room. Like, that's kind of creepy, but yeah. Well, it's time to go back out, I guess. Am I going this way? Uh... God, we're so close to getting out of the grass. A caterpie again. Well, that was instant. <laughs> Because honestly, I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going here. Uh... Oh wait, now I know. Duh. I wasn't thinking I was supposed to go where that the map is showing me. I'm an idiot. Oh well, let me go ahead and get through this, I guess, first. God damn. I'm just murdering Pokemon left and right. Oh yeah, so I don't need to go this way actually, so back through. Yeah, yeah. Random encounter. We got it. I could just run from these, but it's like it's so freaking easy to kill them, it's like might as well. Get the experience and stuff, so. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so I need to go this way. Hold on a moment, let me show you the Pokemon Center first. I love how it instantly turns from a dirt road into a paved road. It's like, that would not connect that well in real life. If you like to talk to the woman at the counter, she could restore your Pokemon to perfect health. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. You also deposit Pokemon on the PC here or take them out. And at the Pokemon, you can buy all kinds of items that should help you during your trials. I'll take a look if I were you. Or there's the cafe area. I like to relax there sometimes with a frosty glass of Moo Moo milk. I was on a travel guide about Aloha once. Apparently, each Pokemon Center in Aloha offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what to serve. 
The cafes may also offer more than just drinks. I've heard they also sell special treats, and that sometimes the staff have tips for trial goers. We should head to the trainer school next, but have your Pokemon taken care of for us if you think that they need a little aid. Let's see here. I got a lot of damn money. Okay, I don't think I need any of that for now. Let's have some lemonade, I guess. Low in berries? Why would there be berries in lemonade? Book of beans? Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I could definitely tell, like, they definitely were work, worked on, you know, making things more, like, realistic, I guess, you know, considering, like, you know, like that, the day and night timer, but also, like, the fact to use the actual dates for, like, oh, yeah, when your journey started and stuff. I think I'm good for now and stuff, okay. Which, I mean, that's definitely the advantage of modern hardware compared to, like, the original Game Boy is, like, yeah. Connect to the internet and all that stuff, like, you can definitely have some more interesting, you know, gameplay mechanics. Here we are. You see, the trailer school is, it's, uh, uh, what the world? Oh my god, here we go. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, it looks like we won't go in that way anytime soon, thanks to Charles there. I thought it was gonna be, like, the Team Skull people, whatever. Cause, like, that's the only other thing I really know about these games, but it's like, yeah. No, it's just guitars. I love how it's like, the game's basically, like, being meta, like... Yeah, you can't go that way. Is trainer school or trainers go to learn, or... People go from trainers? Okay. Goddamn, Rotom. Hey there, Brandon. I must have passed you two somehow, yeah? But well, welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to become a Pokemon trainer. Yeah. Professor Kukat? Is this the child- well, is this the child you told me about? Yeah, put him through the wing or teach. Four trainers. You gotta be four Pokemon trainers here at the school, Brandon. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger, yeah? Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? EXP share? If you keep that EXP share on, yeah? All the Pokémon on your team can get EXP points from battle. The trainers who would take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. We also want to visit our classrooms. You'll be sure to learn a lot. All right, let the lesson begin. I mean, yeah, it sounds like it, because it basically is like, you can only, you could be able to level up everybody, even if you only use one Pokemon. She may not look all that tough, but that teach trains her kids right. Whoever students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's some that might help. Once you've fought a species of Pokemon once, you can easily see what types of move will work best on it in your next battle. Wondering about the telegraphy, lots of different Pokemon will help with that. Battle all the time, oh yeah? <coughs> Excuse me, jeez. Find the four Pokemon channels, so you'll find them and battle them, okay, yeah. Let me take care of your poor Pupper, okay? Please try not to push your Pokemon too hard, um, I mean, if you don't mind. 
Yeah, I swear she's like a tsundere. Okay, let me go ahead and save. Okay, yep, there's one. Okay, can't deal with them anyway. And an item! Wow, game, you really put an item right on the other side of the fence? Mr. Joey. Hey, and there's the Horden. Oh, God. Well, damn. That worked good. Okay, Caterpie went up to level 4. Ha uh, ha ha, I don't know about tactics and stuff because I haven't been doing my homework. And this is why you stay in school, kids. God damn it, all this freaking grass. Antidote. And this is basically a little kid's classroom. I can read. Yeah. Look at your Pokemon where it has any claws or not now, I'd probably get a kick out of this one. High speed gets access or a quick call, your Pokemon should be able to attack first regardless of the speed, or sometimes anyway, it's better than that. And there's an Alola Mouth. Yeah. Okay. Spicy. Spewing flames like a Magar. Oh god. school or Mia. It's like, it's, yeah, it's even worse. It's like the preschoolers and shit, like. It's like bad enough if you're looting freaking like a teenager or something, but like, no, these ones here are actual freaking like kids. Freaking toddlers. And so I'm like, oh god, that would be horrible. That was instant. Of 11. Baby doll eyes. 
Should I forget a move? Let's do it. Let's do Growl, I guess, since I never use it. Level 5. I won't be close to the bottom of the- I love how she's happy she got beat. Okay, oh yeah. Style battle is pretty great, you know. Okay, yeah, let's save again real quick. Okay, so basically it seems like preschool might be downstairs, and upstairs here is older. Okay, so can't go up there yet then. So we got a computer lab here, that's pretty cool. I definitely see some screen glitching, but yeah. But yeah, so just like I thought, basically this is like the older kids up here. Okay, so it looks like I gotta go back downstairs, because I can't go up there yet. Anybody over here? Okay, nope. Youth Athlete Hiromi. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she shoots her Pokemon out by swinging them with a tennis racket? Let me try that new move, even though it doesn't say it's effective. Okay, so that's just an attack ball kind of thing. Six and seven. Pursuit. Oh, that's game and set, isn't it? God! Tennis puns, really? Game and set. Oh, fuck. Yeah. If you use arms moves to boost your team stats, you increase how much damage your Pokemon deal in less than how much take. Okay, yeah. Up, oh, I clicked the wrong thing. Oh well. Whoa. Oh, this is definitely different. Okay, so this is the festival plaza that they were talking about. Okay. Oh, this looks like a Disney castle. I guess.
guess I need to go back here. Might as well just do a few of these, I guess. Is this like easy as like AF? Like, really? Oh, I actually didn't realize the time. Uh, I gotta do something real quick. Be right back. Okay, so I actually completely lost track of time, and I actually have to get going, so, um, yeah. But that was actually pretty fun. Um, let me see who is on so we can go raid somebody and send the love over to them.